Yes. How do you overcome the feeling of being never enough? Do you know, there's a whole chapter on this in the book, actually, um, about sort of self-doubt and being enough. And um, and, and I, think you, I think you've done videos, haven't you, before on sort of self-sabotage, uh, not self-sabotage, sorry, on imposter syndrome and, and that idea of kind of getting into a situation and not being enough. And I think feeling that occasionally because you're go stepping into a new environment is normal, mm -hmm. isn't it? If you're trying something new, you're out of your comfort zone, it's scary, you're worried about not being enough, that would be natural and human and uh, allows you to kind of feel a bit stressed and alert that allows you to kind of step up to it. If you feel it all the time, I would say sometimes that can be quite a complex issue. So um, it's worth breaking down and, and really kind of um, understanding where it's come from, how it plays out in your day-to-day -day life. So how you behave in line with that or how you reconfirm it with some of the things, some of the choices that you make or behaviors that you do. Um, and then because it becomes then a whole process of breaking some of those patterns because you, you can't convince yourself you're enough by just telling yourself you're enough.